hello viewers and uh, welcome to my channel and uh, today's topic is uh, russell silver syndrome uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com you know and the link to visit the website is just below this video in the description area so you can click that link to visit the website and there is also subscribe button below this video uh, and now we come to the topic uh, uh, what is russell silver syndrome you know uh, you know it's also known as rss you know and uh, sometimes called as silver uh, russell syndrome uh, is uh, a congenital condition which means that uh, it presents at the time of birth you know and uh, it is characterized by the uh, stunted growth and uh, limb or the facial asymmetry you know and the symptoms range from uh, uh, a, like uh, a broad clinical spectrum from severe to so mild that uh, uh, sometimes they go undetected you know and uh, it's caused by a rare genetic defects and uh, uh, the number of cases uh, globally is around uh, uh, 1 in 3,000 and maybe 1 in 10,000 even. Okay. And uh, uh, diagnosis can be difficult because uh, many physicians may not be familiar with this disorder, you know. And the medical specialists can, uh, they can aid in the diagnosis uh, and uh, deciding the treatment plan you know. and the treatment is focused on uh, uh, managing the symptoms and uh, as the patients grow older you know uh, uh, many symptoms will improve and uh, but one thing is that the, the patients who plan to have children should consult a genetic uh, counselor uh, beforehand you know and uh, the odds of passing the condition on uh, are low but should be considered you know and there are many symptoms of the Russell uh, Silver syndrome and the most uh, uh, of them present at birth you know while others appear in the early childhood and the most symptoms uh, have the normal uh, uh, I mean uh, they are very mild you know and most of the patients uh, uh, they have normal intelligence uh, but they may experience delays in reaching the early developmental mind, milestones, you know. And the major criteria uh, are like uh, uh, like intrauterine growth uh, retardation, you know. Uh, small stretch at birth, uh, which is uh, below the 10th uh, percentile, you know. And after the birth, uh, uh, growth uh, below average for length of uh, uh, or height, you know and the normal head circumference and the limb body are the maybe facial asymmetry you know and the minor symptoms may include like the short stretch uh, but normal upper to lower arm segment or ratio you know and the uh, fifth finger uh, like uh, a cleaner deck coil which means that uh, uh, the pinky fingers curve towards the fourth fingers you know a triangular shaped face and a, a prominent forehead you know so these are the mild uh, in the case of the minor symptoms you know and other symptoms may include like the changes in the skin pigment you know or maybe feeding difficulties in when they are infants you know uh, hypoglycemia which means the low blood sugar levels as in uh, child you know and motor speech are uh, uh, like uh, uh, cognitive delays you know uh, these uh, may be the symptoms as well and uh, uh, in rare cases they may have the uh, heart defects you know like uh, congenital heart disease or uh, pericarditis etc you know and underlying uh, malignant conditions like you know, maybe the Wilms uh, tumor etc you know well the most people who have this condition uh, don't have a family history of the disease and uh, about 60% of the cases are caused by the defects on a, a part
particular chromosomes, you know, and about 7 to 10 percent cases are caused by the maternal uh, uniparental uh, disomy, you know, which means that uh, after chromosome 7, you know, in which the child receives both number 7 chromosomes from the mother, you know, instead of one chromosome 7 from the each parent. So, but for most people, the underlying uh, genetic defect is undetermined, we don't know. Uh, your doctor may need to consult with the uh, multiple specialists to make the diagnosis because uh, it is very tricky, you know. And uh, the signs and the symptoms are the most prominent in infancy and the early childhood, and making a diagnos diagnosis even more difficult in the older children, you know. And ask your doctor to refer to the specialist for more in-depth analysis of the condition, you know. And the medical specialist that uh, you and your doctor may want to consult into like uh, geneticists, you know, a gastroenterologist, a nutritionist, endocrinologist. So these are the specialities who deal uh, you know, with these kind of the cases, you know. And uh, your doctor will ask their opinion, you know, and it will help to make the diagnosis. And uh, it may be mistakenly diagnosed as uh, uh, like uh, Fanconi anemia syndrome, uh, which is a genetic defect in the DNA repair node to cause cancer, you know, and maybe uh, Nijomegon, um, like uh, breakage syndrome, or maybe Bloom syndrome. You know. So it can be mistakenly diagnosed as uh, these conditions, you know, because as I said, it's very tricky to diagnose this condition, you know. Uh, once diagnosed, then the treatment options, uh, well, Mostly it is present at birth and the first few years of the life are very important in the child's uh, development, you know. And the treatment uh, focuses on treating its symptoms so the child can develop as normally as possible, you know. And the treatment helps to, uh, it, uh, with growth and the development, you know, and these uh, treatment options include like a, a nutrition schedule, you know, with the specified snack and meal times, uh, growth hormone injections, and uh, luteinizing hormone releasing treatments, uh, uh, you know, and the treatments to correct uh, and accommodate the limb asymmetry include like uh, shoe lifts, maybe you know, uh, where the insert inserts used to slightly raise the one heel, you know, and the corrective surgery, you know, and the treatments to encourage the mental and the social development may include like speech therapy, physical therapies, you know, and language therapies and early developmental uh, interventional programs, you know. And so these uh, all the uh, plans help when uh, they work together, you know. And uh, the children uh, should receive a regular monitoring and testing, you know, and uh, this can uh, ensure that uh, they meet the development of milestones. And the most patients uh, will see their symptoms improve as they get older, you know. And the symptoms of uh, uh, this condition should improve with the age that include like uh, speech difficulties or maybe the uh, low weight and short stature, you know. And uh, the tests to monitor the development to include uh, uh, measurement of the limb length, okay, uh, growth velocity and the blood glucose testing for the hypoglycemia. You know. So uh, these tests should be performed on a regular basis you know, by the doctor. Uh, uh, if you, you know, as a, you know, it's a genetic disorder, you know, and uh, a person with this condition only rarely pass it to their children, you know. Uh, but even then, uh, it's advised to the uh, patients that uh, if they are planning to have a child, you know, they should consult with the genetic counselor you know, in, beforehand. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to like, subscribe, or share these videos to support this channel. Thank you and goodbye.